Zdratucha, tovarishi, and welcome to our Let's Play of XCOM 2, and we are live here right now, uh, reporting to you from the lovely city of Edmonton, Alberta, in the middle of winter, uh, and I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling really good, everybody, and I'm very excited to start this Let's Play, because we've all been sitting around, uh, you know, just trying to kill time in the chat for the last uh, 50 minutes or so. Um, but uh, before I actually get into this Let's Play, I do want to bring out uh, a couple things. One, I think we really do uh, need to start with an official moment of silence for Will Wilson. So I would uh, invite you all to enjoy me for a brief moment of silence as we remember the great predecessors who came before us in establishing this XCOM dynasty. So, for Will Wilson, you will never be forgotten. All right, uh, I think that's plenty of, of silence. And uh, the one last thing, uh, before I uh, get into the game itself, I just wanted to uh, plug my new podcast really quickly here. Um, so I've just started a political and philosophical podcast called Naples Ultra. Uh, the latest episode went live yesterday, and uh, I'd love for you all guys to check it out. NPUpodcast.com is the website address. And with all that out of the way, let's start. Um, we'll just start. Default options for the most part. Excitement continues to build as city centers across the globe prepare for the 20th anniversary of Unification Day. Thousands line up at the site of the Great Accord, celebrating the formation of the Advent Coalition. Keeping with their promise to humanity, 12 new gene therapy clinics will be opening in select cities by the end of the new year. Despite the attempted attack by fringe elements, Operations at the new facility in Paris thankfully remain unaffected. In response to the unprovoked intrusion on the eve of our most beloved celebration, the speaker reaches out to us. A small number of dissidents again repeat the mistakes of the old world. Striking as we celebrate the benevolent savior who time and again offers only friendship and compassion. Yet these trivial actions could never break the bond between humanity and the elders. Peacekeeping forces have already made several preemptive arrests of known collaborators. Advent again assures all citizens that today's celebrations will continue as planned. I guess this is uh, going to be the tutorial. Advent forces are swarming to the blast point. 
We need to move on the package before they figure out what we're up to. So, uh, I think the storyline of... First things first. You need to get out of sight. Grab some cover near that low wall. Okay. Uh, so anyway, um, I know the story of XCOM 2 is basically that we lost the first one. We lost in XCOM 1 instead of, you know, the actual ending of the game where we won. Uh, yeah. In position, but I'm exposed here. It's better than nothing, but see if you can't find a safer position further out. Looks like full cover ahead. Moving out. Maybe I should have skipped the tutorial. I'm regretting this instantly. What? Crasher 2, stay close. Keep pace with Crasher 1. Double time. Yeah, that's true. They're holding position. We're gonna have to go through them. Stay out of sight until we're ready to strike. Copy that. So, uh, Surf USA in the chat brings up a good point. Keep to the shadows until you're absolutely set. We'll only get one shot at this. That I didn't think in about. Shadows. Uh, that I didn't think about until just now, and that is that this entire game is an insult to Will Wilson, because Will Wilson never lost. He's incapable of losing. Uh... Or maybe this is an alternate timeline. If Will Wilson didn't exist, this is what would have happened. Stay low. So far, this game seems pretty easy, I think. Don't get too close. They'll be spotted for sure and we'll lose our advantage. So one of the new mechanics uh, in XCOM 2 that I'm really excited about is this sort of stealth mechanic where your units are revealed until you they may have the numbers but we've got surprise on our side uh, until you make contact with the enemy remind me to thank the old man you and me both we're not out of the woods yet. We need to take out those remaining soldiers. I've got the trap on them. Permission to engage. Do it. So... Alright, well, let's, uh... Take out this little bastard. So far, this is going, uh, well. Okay, so they won't move into cover until they spot you. Did I see me? Breaking windows, kicking doors, soldiers flanked, are on. They can see you now. How about you all shoot first and celebrate later? Okay. If you really want me to. But you're dangerously close right now. Be careful. <sighs> so So far, these guys aren't putting up much of a fight. You're still keeping score, right? Oh, sad day for her. Anna Ramirez, we barely knew you. No, Crasher 2 is down. She's gone. Damn it. You can't take risks hey. like that. Watch your in my defense, in, in my defense, tutorial, you're the one who asked me to move into that spot. So her death is on you. It's not on me. Nice work. Press the advantage before they get around you. Oops. Sorry. Wrong mouse click. Let's see how you like this.
What's he gonna do? Oh, he's done for. Okay, never mind. Central, reporting in. You're late. What have you been doing down there? Taking in the sights. What the hell are these things? They're us. At least they used to be. Human hybrid soldiers. Advent's reward for obedience and service. We've all heard rumors. I just never believed it was true. No one wanted to. But we find what we're looking for today. I promise you that's going to change. Let's move. Looks like that transmission went through. You have an advent transport closing on your position. You heard her. Cover the left side. Anything that moves. The main entrance is clear. We need to move on the package. So, this little hand here uh, is loot, I believe. So, Menace three, you're up. Hold up. Oh, there we go. Okay. We need anything we can get at this point. Better move fast, though. I've heard rumors Advent rigs their stuff to self-destruct. Oh, do I have? To, does it want me to go directly on it? I guess so. Gotta be very specific with the tutorial. Can't take any leeway at all. Okay, so you can pick up loot on your first turn or your first action. And then still move in your second one. It's good to know. Reinforcements just hit the ground. They're getting nervous. Now I know we're in the right place. Oh, this guy's gonna spring out. Man, this guy's a <laughs> very he's very much so distinguishing himself in this first foray. Fall back to our position. Just go. I'll try to stall him here. Okay. No, don't do it. Don't be a hero. Hmm, well, I guess you'll take the 1% higher chance. Oh no, he missed him. Oh, he's got to reload too. I'm going for the door. It's not like we have much of a choice here. She's a strong, independent woman. She can do what she wants. through the door security protocols. They were never expecting anyone to get this close. All soldiers can hack doors, gain bonuses. Interesting. This is a new mechanic. I hope it's not a really frustrating minigame. Okay, unlock door, sky signals. Okay. Nope, it's just like anything else, it's a dice roll. So people in the oh. package. Let's hope our intel was good. This is the place. Are you sure? If you got me a better look, I might be able to... 
Central has no need for finesse. Brute force trauma all the way. Let's get out of here. So people in the comments are saying that uh, if we can bring Central in as a soldier, we should rename him to Will Wilson. Okay, so anyway. Oh man, wow. It's just... I think you might have missed him there, buddy. <laughs> Firebrand is holding nearby for evac. But it's now or never, Central. Understood. We're on the move. Oh, he's done for. There he goes. Nope. I guess Black Lives... Oh. There, there's a Black Lives Matter joke in there somewhere. Central, pressure one is down. You have to get out of there. We need another exit. Now! Got it covered. No, for a grenade. Oh. Okay. Fire in the hole. This game, I mean, it, it looks gorgeous. I just love the way it looks. For me. Almost there. Stay focused. Oh, she's done for too. There oh no, she lives. Way too close. Oh, this time you're done for. Firebrand, this is Gatecrasher. We need an immediate evac. Get us out of here. Sky Ranger. Hmm, okay. So you get to choose your evac zone. That's a new that's a new uh mechanic. Keep moving. You don't need to tell me twice. Okay, so what what am I supposed to do with this guy? Tutorial? Let me know, please. Oh, just move him there. We're coming home! So you can call the evac. Same turn. Oh, I'm surprised she survived. Um, so my guess is that this body is you. Carefully. There's potentially decades of atrophy to contend with. Wish we had more time. I don't disagree. But as it stands now, we risk losing the patient if we don't begin the removal procedure immediately. We are ready. Good. Let's get on with it. Remarkable. Just like 20 years ago. Well, I, I... We were still calling it a war back then. We had no idea what was coming. Response from the cerebral cortex. Good. Prepping for cranial intrusion. 
I've managed to identify the connection, preparing to make final incision. These readings are getting really erratic. Of course they are. These implants were never designed to be removed. We are risking severe... No plan B here, people. Do it. Response normal, vital stabilizing, procedure complete. Told them it would take more than that to keep you down. Welcome back, Commander. So, the aliens abducted me and messed with my mind or something? Glad to see you're finally coming out of it. Don't envy the headache you must have, though. Still... Can't fault Dr. Tigan. Especially as no one's even attempted something like this before. Easy. We're still not entirely sure what they did to you. That chip was buried halfway into your skull. Lost a lot of good soldiers looking for you over the years. Almost gave up hope you were still out there. Acted on the intel as soon as I got word. Not sure what you remember, but... A lot's changed. Did the best I could, but the last 20 years have been tough without you. You feel like catching up. Shen has the archive up and running on your terminal. Otherwise, I'd go see Dr. Tigan when you're ready. There's some things you should know. He'll be better at explaining them than me. It's damn good to have you back, Commander. Okay. Almost thought the uh, recording had crashed there for a second. Impressive, isn't it? Capable of generating immense power, yet completely harmless to human life. If only the same could be said for the rest of the aliens' technology, Commander. Dr. Richard Tigan, Chief Science Officer. I am responsible for the entirety of our research here, as well as the procedure you so recently underwent. Welcome to my lab, such as it is. I'm not sure what Central may have told you, but we found something while removing you from the alien stasis suit. A device implanted directly in your occipital lobe. Had I access to the equipment available to me during my tenure at Advent, I would already know the precise nature of its function. However, given time and your approval, of course, Commander, I assure you, I will find out. Which brings to light an additional point. Though aspects of this facility are indeed impressive, I am but one man. Were you to direct additional support personnel and resources to me, I could substantially improve the speed of all our research. A farewell, Commander. God, this, already. I just You're woke up, man. I will begin researching the Advent chip for possible insights as to its function. You've already got to start demanding things from me. All right, well... I'll see that work begins immediately, Commander. Uh, that... I'll contact you when I have a full report available. That research will keep Tigan busy for a while. In the meantime, you might want to head down to the armory. Commander, to the armory. Um, so where does that, uh, the scientist Tegan, where does his voice, his voice is so familiar. I'm, I'm trying to remind myself where it came from. Commander. I've heard Kelly it before. Instrumental in the op to get you back. She earned enough experience for a promotion. We should take care of that now. Uh, okay. 
Congratulations, Jane. You're probably going to be Jane, named Jane for much longer. Serves as our primary reconnaissance unit, capable of moving independently in concealment while engaging enemies at close range. Oh, I definitely got to find me a Japanese guy. Uh, a Japanese ranger. Let me slash because now we have. Uh, We're off to a good start. Our troops will only get stronger as they gain experience. So now we have XCOM Samurais or XCOM Ninjas. I heard you, Shen. When we get the thing, you'll be the first to know. Attention. Unauthorized presence detected. Commander, give me a second. Execute Echelon Protocol. Attention. Senior Command Exchange confirmed. I had wanted that to be a little more ceremonious. But we've got something. A local resistance cell just located this hybrid magnetic power converter that Shen's been pushing us to find. They tracked the device to a nearby advent convoy and are attempting to take it down. If we can bring this converter back in one piece, we might actually get this place up and running and give the aliens a real war for a change. The squad is prepped and ready to launch on your order, Commander. Just give the word. Got a whole squad to deploy already. So, okay, so we can start editing some of these guys. And uh, we've got to make some important decisions here. Um, oh, I guess I can't edit them. Never mind. Oh, they broke it. Uh, they broke it down to uh, England and Scotland. Or well, I guess this guy's because I mean the Union Jack really is like if you look at the Union Jack, it's just the Scottish, English, and Irish flag mashed together. I mean that's that's what it is. That's why it's the Union Jack. Like this guy's guile haircut. Uh, I'm not sure if we can edit their names quite yet, so we'll. Uh, We'll come back to it. Everyone does forget about whales. Even I forget about whales. With resistance forces in the area have gone dark, which can only mean one thing. These people sacrificed everything to give us this shot. We need to recover that converter at all costs. So I was thinking about this, and uh, I do want to say one quick thing. is uh, We had that whole scene where the aliens kind of busted in and stole the commander away. Uh, I'd just like to take a moment to say that this game really promotes types about aliens. Not all aliens are abductors. Uh, there are plenty of non-abducting aliens out there who are just trying to do their research without having to harness human organs. So please, just keep that in mind going forward. Wow, oh, it finished precisely when my monologue was over. <laughs> 